And Steve, there is a big jump. Put it into perspective for you. 498 Iowans in the hospital right now with COVID-19. The last time the numbers were that high, January 15th, 505 Iowans in the hospital. Health leaders across the state continue to state the vaccine is the best way to battle this virus. Dr. Anissa Afroz has been a fighter on the front lines of the COVID-19 pandemic for the last 18 months, watching the virus and the battle change. I don't think we should just give up um, because we are not going to be able to control this virus otherwise. As the virus morphs, so does the way she fights it. Some mutate, they become more virulent, more transmissible and more infective. And unfortunately, you know, with the Delta variant, that is the case. Right now in the state, 79% of people in the hospital with COVID-19 as the primary diagnosis are unvaccinated. Though that number is even higher, 90% in Polk County. We have not seen a trend in COVID-19 hospitalizations like this since the last COVID-19 surge in October of 2020. Just in the last two days, 10 people were hospitalized, bringing the total to 120 in Polk County. Though the number of vaccinated Iowans in the hospital is creeping up due to the Delta variant, health officials still stress the importance of the vaccine. That our hospitals are currently stressed and busy and at capacity with even things other than COVID. So you add COVID into that mix and it has an impact. With almost 500 Iowans battling COVID in hospitals across the state, health officials don't want to see the battle get worse. We are prepared, whatever comes. And the hospitalizations are trending older. 67% of people in the hospital in Iowa are 50 or older, but we did learn here in Polk County this week that four children are in the hospital with COVID-19 as a diagnosis, the highest that number has ever been. We're live in Des Moines tonight. I'm James Stratton for KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.